Here we're going to change the glazing materials or the blast materials in this curtain wall. So let's select this uh, glazing, a group of glazing. Now the storefront uh, material. If you want, you can actually change this and uh, duplicate it. Let's say you're going to duplicate this storefront. Just to maintain the original uh, family. Here we have the system plan as panel as glaze. So later we're going to create a glazing material or glass material that we will have to replace or replace override this system plan. So click OK here. Now we have to go to the project browser and we we'll have to go to the curtain wall panel. Under the families is the curtain wall panels. Expand it. Here we can see the empty system panel and system panel glaze and solid. To create a new glaze system panel, click duplicate, we we'll name it and set it as color. In fact, we'll go to create colored uh, glass panel. Colored glass. Low P. And we are going to set the thermal properties to low. P. So double click, open up the dialog box for color glow glass under the system panel panel. Now we're going to, this is the offset, we're not going to change it. Uh, it means the offset from the uh, mullions and then so that it will be placed in the center. We're going to change the glass material. We need to set the column, let's say we're setting the color to uncheck this. Either you can use the graphics, you can change the color. Let's say we go for a bronze one, we're uh, going to color one so we can easily see it. Just look at this, this is the color that we're selecting now. Okay. The transparency, let's set it at almost 25. So it will be like a solid one-way. Uh, glass. If you want to use the appearance, you can go here. It's still updating now, but you can select now it's clear, so you can select three. So in this exercise, we're just going to maintain using the graphics. Click apply. Now it's processing and regenerating. It may take a few seconds. Click OK. Now here on the analytic construction, which is quite important, we have to set the uh, type of materials that we have for the glass or the construction of the materials. Uh, there is a single pane glass using this Milton single glazing and there's a U value. It's quite important, especially for the energy simulation and pulling load calculation. So here we're going to use a double glaze. It means uh, one external and one internal with an air space in between or back vacuum in between the two glasses. It's consists of one quart inch thick glass, both sides. I have placed 25 mm, so it means uh, one quart, one quart, and the remaining is the air space in between the two glasses. So I will be using double glaze uh, blue green. And then it will automatically apply all these thermal properties. So if you have a certain user-defined properties, you can place it here. So now we're going to just go back and use the building or schematic there. Click OK. If you have a model or manufacturer name, you can also update it here. But for now, we will just click OK. And as you can see, the panel has already changed into the a colored low E glass just by applying it here and changing the material it automatically applies it to all the glass panel in this pattern so let's go back here let's select this starter let's edit here we're going to use the colored low E glass click apply click OK now here let's say this one let's Change this. Uh, so let's change this first to stock and B. Now uh, this one is stock and A. Let's 
see the difference. Let's say this one will use the solid panel. Pick up part. So as you can see, that's why we have duplicated and created a different system panel. So we, because once we have created here and we change the glazing panel, all other panel with or curtain wall panel with the same uh, family name, let's say store country, will be changed into the solid panel. This one is store country, so we have changed it into a color glazing. Uh, so here we can also select it and then just change this or select store country. Select here, start and and we go to the other side. You see that is all. Uh, all the start and A are all uh, so have solid materials. So let's select them, multiply select, and then set it as start. So now you can see that the color of the lacing for the curtain wall has changed into our preferred, preferred color and thermal properties. So that is how to uh, set and modify the glazing of a curtain wall with different color and thermal properties.